My wife was on vacation this week. A couple hours she'll be watching the sunset over the Pacific. I thought I'd come out here and see that show you that she doesn't have everything on over me. I can get the sunset right here. But uh, I'm a little late because I worked too long. So let's get on with the review. I'm over here at the beautiful Lake of the Geese outside of Morency. There we go. Lovely. We got the sun going down. It's nice red in the clouds. Got some wildlife behind me. Should be a full moon rising pretty soon. Not yet. All right, let's look at this thing. Got a photo of a couple kids in Fayette. <laughs> Fayette? Fayette always seems like a pretty flat area to me. So what I like about this picture is you lay down, you get kind of low on Eagle Street, look up, these kids coming down the hill and there's nothing back there, just the treetops. They're on some very interesting skateboards. They aren't really skateboards, I guess they're wave boards. Two, two pieces. One like this, they wobble back and forth. Rod connect them in the middle. Nothing like the old roller skate wheels that I had when I was a kid. Main story. Iced it, it says. I think that must be uh, sports lingo. I think I've written that before. The city got the ice grant. That means they've got 600,000 bucks coming to, to uh, rebuild some parking lots. And I'm getting tired. <clears throat> rebuild some parking lots. Demolished a few buildings, built some new parking lots. It's quite a big project. And uh, Fayette, not to be left out, they've got $100,000 coming for some housing rehabilitation. <clears throat> Page two. Well, now. This is Letty. Uh, we got an old column of hers since she's gone. <laughs> uh, in an editorial about a rock. Every time I write one, I think, well, that's the last time I'm going to write about that. Then some other ridiculous thing comes up, like uh, some Republican representative saying, everybody we know thinks, thinks it was a mistake. Okay, over here, I got a very funny column. Not that I wrote it, but, I mean, I wrote it, but not my ideas. It's about odd names. Take a look. Have a good time. The alumni banquet's coming up. The Merchants Education Foundation banquet's coming up where they honor three alumni. This year it's Bill Van Arsdale and Glenn Smith, Janice Clellan. Okay, here's a little story. This headline, Fun to Challenge Sanders. It's about the school board election in Marincy. Initially it said, Fun to Challenge Reese. Cindy Reese, that's how I knew her. Well, I wrote it, didn't think anything of it. Kim at work read it, didn't think anything of it. My wife read it. Yeah, she was proofreading out in California. She didn't think anything of it. Then my daughter Rosie saw it and said, Reese? Who's Cindy Reese? So we got to change. Thank you, Rosie. Oh, we got some obits. We got some ads. <laughs> Fulton County Fair. They've announced their uh, entertainment. Blake Shelton. I guess he's the big deal in country. I've never heard of him. Kansas. I guess they must still be considered a big deal in rock. I thought they were dead. What do I know? Here's a report on the uh, talk at the library last week about in, uh, Indian. The guy used the term. He's part. He sued. He said Indians okay. He refers to indigenous people. Anyway, rock art. Over here we talk about a new s digital download service that Morency Library is part of. Starts tomorrow, Wednesday. You can download books to your computer, to your MP3 player, to your iPod. Some of them you can burn in a CD. Now I got school news galore. Science Olympiad team did well. David Stutzman got a state farm to they don't call it farm degree farmer degree anymore, it's just FFA state degree. And he told me I didn't know this. They don't call it Future Farmers of America anymore either. It's just FFA. Chas Fry is American's DR good citizen, son of the American Revolution, you might say. Nate Shafter got a, an award with the uh, Skills USA, part of Votech. These three, Emily Kutzley, David Sutzman, Courtney Lockwood, 
first place in the state in FFA competition. Oh, sports. Darn Fayette canceled their games Monday. I was looking forward to some photos from Dale Bates, but they said the diamonds are too wet. Look at those dad and there's dad and uh oh yes, the the taste of Japan. Heather Walker and Dad Pajnaki's English class, the kids ate a bunch of food, Japanese food. <laughs> Hold on again. Yeah, they ate a bunch of Japanese food. A bunch of it. I've had this story sitting around, these pictures sitting around for about a month and I finally got them in. And man, does it stink out here. Whew! My vacation's over.